Thank you for purchasing the Vision Microsystems VM1000C Engine Analyzer. You will discover that this is the finest engine monitoring instrument available for experimental piston engines. The Vision Microsystems VM1000C uses only aviation quality measurement probes and sensors. This video will walk you through the operation of the Vision Microsystems VM1000C and answer the most common questions about the instrument. The Vision Microsystems VM1000C is available for four and six cylinder engines. Think of your Vision Microsystems VM1000C as your personal flight engineer, always there working in the background, constantly watching over your engine while you concentrate on flying the aircraft. The Vision Microsystems VM1000C will be monitoring your engine and will warn you instantly if any measurement exceeds the preset limit. In this video you will examine buttons and various displays and many user functions. We will then explain how to customize your 1000C for your personal preferences. But before we do, let's get an overview of the instrument. The Vision Microsystems VM1000C displays engine measurements on a liquid crystal display screen. There are five buttons on the bottom of the instrument. They will be referred to as buttons 1 through 5, starting with 1 on the left. During normal operation, button 1 enters the peak find mode. It is also used to decrement an input parameter, such as fuel quantity. Button 2 will cycle through each cylinder temperature. It is also used to increment an input parameter, such as fuel quantity. Button 3 turns on and off the auto track system. Button 4 cycles through the fuel computer options. And button 5 will capture a snapshot of all measurements and save them in memory. On the main display you will see a brief self-test and then you will be asked about the fuel status. The blinking add and remain icons are asking if you refueled the aircraft. If you have filled the tanks, tap button 5 to enter the tank capacity, then tap button 3 to accept that fuel quantity. If you added or removed fuel, tap button 2 to increment or button 1 to decrement to select how much fuel you have in the tanks. Tap button 3 when you're finished entering fuel information. To change the fuel computer display at any time, tap button 4 to cycle through add, hours of fuel remaining, fuel burned, fuel remaining, and fuel flow. The display screen is arranged into three sections. The top section is the manifold pressure and RPM. The bottom left section is the cylinder watch and outside air temperature. And the lower right side section is the bar graphs. The manifold pressure and RPM sections show manifold pressure on the left and RPM on the right. The numerical value is also shown digitally below each analog gauge. If you hold button 1, the manifold pressure display will toggle to horsepower. Hold button 1 to change the display back to manifold pressure. Power settings exceeding red line are displayed by the blinking analog gauge. The bar graph section contains eight dedicated bar graphs with digital display. Full scale is red line. The displays are oil pressure, oil temperature, bus voltage, amps, fuel flow, fuel pressure, left fuel quantity, and right fuel quantity. If a measurement option is not installed on your aircraft,
the display for that gauge will be blank. You can manually step through each cylinder to display the individual EGT and CHT. The digital displays will show E1, E2, E3, and C1, C2, C3, and so on, followed by the temperature measurement each time you tap button 2. Any measurement falling outside the alarm limits will cause the analog gauge to flash. Oil pressure is too low. Oil pressure is too high. The Vision Microsystems VM1000C cylinder watch section is on the lower left side of the screen. The EGTs are shown as vertical bar graphs. The hottest EGT is displayed digitally below the EGT graphs. The CHTs are shown as horizontal bar graphs in a diagram depicting each cylinder's physical location on the engine. The hottest CHT is displayed digitally below the CHT graphs and alternates with the cylinder number shown with an H in front of it. The outside air temperature and carburetor temperatures are shown to the right of the CHT graphs. There are two methods of leaning. You will select during initial setup which method you will use, rich of peak or lean of peak. Upon reaching cruise configuration, use the peak find mode to identify the first cylinder to reach peak EGT. Note that this is the leanest cylinder, not necessarily the hottest cylinder. Begin the leaning process by pre-leaning the mixture to about 50 degrees below the estimated peak on any one of the cylinders. For example, let's say that you have determined that 1350 is the pre-lean value for your aircraft. Now wait about 20 seconds for temperatures to stabilize. Tap button 1 to start the peak find mode. Notice that a bar appears at the top of each EGT bar graph indicating the peak find mode. Lean the mixture at a rate of about a quarter turn per second without stopping. Stop leaning when you see the bar and the EGT column blinking. Both the EGT and diff icons will show and the digital display shows the difference between the peak EGT and the current EGT. This will alternate with the display of the peak EGT value. Now adjust the mixture difference value according to which leaning mode you set up, positive diff for rich of peak or negative diff for lean of peak. When you have completed the leaning process, turn off the peak find mode by tapping button 1. The Autotrack system is designed to reduce the pilot's workload by assisting in the tedious and often overlooked job of monitoring engine measurements for small but significant deviations. Autotrack adds a new level of safety to engine management, a true cockpit early warning system. Subtle changes may occur in engine temperatures that can precede major problems. AutoTrack alerts you to these changes, allowing you to analyze the situation and take appropriate action. Use AutoTrack in climb, cruise, and descent. To use AutoTrack, set the aircraft power and let temperatures stabilize for a minute or two. Check that AutoTrack is off. If it isn't, tap button 3 to turn it off. Tap button 3 to turn AutoTrack on. The Autotrack system is now armed and watching for engine deviation from the point when Autotrack was turned on. To cancel Autotrack, tap button 3. If the engine measurement deviates above or below the initial captured point by more than its allowed difference, the graphic element for that measurement and the Autotrack icon will both flash to alert you of this deviation. To shut off the alert condition, Either correct the reason for the measurement deviation or tap button 3 to turn off the Autotrack system.